Abuko Nature Reserve, uh, where we are going to visit to look for some animals. Well, we decided to trek. Uh, we we took a car, the public transport. We took the public transport up to one place uh, where they sell the food and the sheep. So we get down there. We want to trek to show you around a bit. So it's not much far. Very soon we will reach there. And uh, this is it. This is Gambia, a beautiful model arm. Everywhere green. You can see this thing. So everywhere is green as you are seeing behind me. The view is very nice and the sun is hot. It's very good to take some uh, sunlight. At least it will help the body also. So this is the Gambia we are in. And uh, smiling coast of West Africa. Uh, we can just smile in front of Africa. Uh, this other place you are seeing there is a place where they cultivate rice. The women are cultivating rice. All those what you are seeing there is rice cultivation farm. So this is the beauty of the Gambia. Uh, you see green, green, green everywhere. Africa is so blessed. Africa is so blessed. I can say. As I told you before, we are on our way to the nature reserve, that is Abuko Nature Reserve. As you can see with my friend, we are here and uh, we are going to visit that place and uh, I hope you all are going to enjoy what we, are going, what we are going to see there and I wish we meet something lively, something very very lovely uh, that will make you guys happy and here I am in Abuko with my friend and uh, this is my first time visiting the Abuko Nature Reserve though I'm a Gambian but I, am, I have never visited that place but today I'm on my way to that place as you are seeing we are on the road going and you can see the view over there nice flowers and other things are there so we are almost to the Nature Reserve so I guess today we are going to see something very lovely yeah, because I have been hearing of that place. I have been, I studied that place in my primary school level, and uh, there's a lot to learn about to learn about that place. And there is many things we will see for yourself. I guess now we are already at the place. Now, joining me on this journey to the nature reserve, and it's it's also a learning place where you learn about some animals there will be a tall man who will be showing you around who will be telling you uh, things how things are uh, so I guess you are not going to regret it so here we are moving with the tall man uh, who is going to show us uh, the places and uh, as I told you I'm going to bring you a beautiful and a wonderful things that you will be seeing and today we are here in the Abuko Nature Reserve where we have a lot of things to be covering and to be seen for yourself and as I told you Gambia is a nice place so you can make a visit and see for yourself let no one tell you how Gambia is so it's a beautiful place that's why it is called the smiling coast of Africa so it's a beautiful place to be here we are heading to the places where we will be seeing different kind of animals and other things that will be explained by the tow man uh, so that we can know what is here and as I told you it's a learning center too you can learn a lot of things that you know you have never seen or you have never heard of uh, there are things here uh, as you are seeing this one is the ant hill uh, so so it's very beautiful and it is not seen in many places in Europe but most especially in Africa you can find these kind of things anywhere you go to in the booths and many places like that so this is it and we have different type of trees you are seeing and this one mm. this one here yeah okay so we have uh, it's just like in my language soto 
so i guess it's similar to that one because when you cut it it bring out milk it bring out milk so it's similar to that one so i don't know whether it's that one but they are similar yeah you refer soto so this is it so we are here heading forward to look for other things as i told you always okay mm -hmm. Other types. Yeah, I know, but this one is very difficult in exactly. English. Okay, you know, in the scientific language. Tambaku. Tambaku. Yeah. So this one you are seeing, the plant you are seeing here is called tambaku, Tambakumba in my language. And uh, it has fruits, uh, ripe. So this is it. In this reserve, we have a lot of plants, a lot of trees that are also good for the body and for the health too. So this is it and we are seeing different kind of plants that i missed to see for long and this one is called kaba this one you are seeing here is called kaba but uh the time has passed now the kaba time has passed and this one i forgot the name i can remember uh i forgot the name of this plant and it's also good plant they are all good for no. okay it's called Xinjiang. Exactly, it's called Xinjiang. It's also good for the body. And we have the cocoa plant up there, as you are seeing. So this is the plant here. This is what I told you about Gambia. It's a very nice place. You see many different types of fruits, many different types of animals, and uh, the like. We have a lot of things here that you know is very lovely to be seen around in this beautiful reserve here so it will be a bit long tour uh, because still now we don't reach where the animals are and we are still walking with the tow man so he is the one guiding us around showing us places so as you can see around as i told you we have different kind of fruits here different kind of plants so when we are with our elders, they always tell us about some uh, some plants and what they do uh, in a human body. They are very good when the plants are mixed and boiled, so you will enjoy. And these ones too, you are seeing. So these ones grow normally where there is water, a lot of water. So they grow normally around those places. We call it, like in our local language, we call it dalo. So they normally grow around water areas. So this is it. So we have a lot of things, a lot of different kind of plants. You can see for yourself around. So here we come to the little pool. Uh, it's a little bridge where we will be crossing. So as you can see for yourself, here we are crossing, uh, going towards and uh, to the other end. Um, so, Jan, phone call take on a crocodile. Ah, okay. As I was asking, uh, if there is crocodiles here, I can see some. Put all of what, yeah? Jana. Ah, okay. Okay. So, I was asking him whether there are crocodiles inside. He said yes, but. Most of them are in front, so we are heading to those areas to see things for ourselves. So these are signs to show you where you will pass, uh, where you will be going, so that you don't have any mistakes. So we have signs all over to be showing you the road, in and out. This one is a sign to the toilets, as you are seeing. So. Here we are, it's like we are reaching to the places like uh, where the animals are and uh, other stuff. So here we are, as you see it is written here, no smoking, so whenever you are here for a visit, please read the signboards, never make a mistake with the signboards. As you are seeing, we are climbing on the roof of the house, so we don't know how what we are going to meet here, but 
I guess it's a lovely place to see the kind of animals we have here. And uh, these are the posters you are seeing. These are some of the posters you are seeing over here. The animals in the Gambia. And this one is a lizard, as you are seeing. So here we are. Where there is young. It's called the freshwater swamp. Okay. In Amigo, you have five different habitats. Mm -hmm. Here is the first water swamp. You have the raffia palm swamp. You okay. Have the Gine savanna. You have the woodland forest. Okay. And the gallery forest. As you all heard him, this is the tall man talking, yeah. explaining the type of water swamps we have in here in Abuko. So this is it, the beauty of the Gambia. So you new different type of things we are having in the Gambia, the motherland. As I told you, the born American Africans that are born in America, but you try and make a visit for yourself. Don't let the media fool you. Don't let no one fool you. Go and find, come and find your route. Come and find where you are from or where your forefathers were from and learn the history of that place. Don't let the media fool you because they are not showing you all on the media. They are not telling you the right thing and they are not telling you the truth. The truth will be only fine by yourself if you make a visit to the country where your forefathers are from. That's the only time you will know the truth for yourself. So try and make a visit and know your history. Two types of crocodiles. Okay. Uh, you have the West African Nile crocodile okay. and the West African dwarf crocodile. That is, uh, he's explaining the fresh water. The type of the, the, the type this of one. Crocodile. How how is this one called? The fresh water swamp. The fresh water swamp. So he's explaining the type of crocodiles we have in this swamp here. So what are those uh, type of crocodiles? You have the West African Nile crocodile mm -hmm. and the West African dwarf crocodile. So these are the type of crocodiles we have in this swamp here. So only when you visit, you know the place. But if you follow the media, the Western world media is just fooling you. It's not showing you what is in Africa, what is going on in Africa, what Africans are like, and what is the beauty of Africa. They only show you the negative part of the Africa they are not showing you the positive part of Africa. Always when you watch the media, you only see the, um, um, the negative part on the media, which will make you angry or which will make you afraid to come and visit Africa, which is far from that is not true about Africa. This is the beauty of Africa. Make a visit and see. Okay. This name is from Zulua. We founded the Abuko Nature Reserve in 1968. Mm -hmm. We propose live for conservation of biodiversity. Here is Honing, holding an African rock python. Okay. The python here. Yeah, that's the type of snake he is holding, dragging out of the hole. Okay. Yeah. Here is the declaration of Gambia's National Development for the park okay. when it was established. Mm -hmm. From this man by Edward Frank Brewer. Yeah. Here we have the harmless snakes and the okay. poisonous snakes. The harmless snakes are which he is holding here. Okay. It is called African rock python. We have the royal python. Okay. We have the spitting beauty snake. Here you have olive sun snake. Oh. Then you have the poisonous snake. snake. Yes, they are very dangerous. Okay. Amongst them, he is the dangerous one among all. Okay. It's snakes. Yeah. Okay. It's called Kofada. Kofada. Yeah. So. And you have the second dangerous one, the green mamba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have the green mamba, you have the spitting cobra, you have the forest black cobra. Okay. Then you have the type of the birds, but others are water birds, others are woodland birds. Okay. Yeah. Mostly we find others in the park. Yeah. This is it. So and the life cycle of a lizard. This is the life cycle of a lizard. And uh, you will know the description of the lizard, the external future mm -hmm. of the lizard. As you are seeing, 
here on this uh, picture and we have different one uh, different animals here snake crocodile and uh, killer so that is tortoise they are all reptiles here you are seeing and uh, I think this is the map of the banjo uh, this is the map of the banjo and these are the animals we can find in the Gambia these are the type of animals that are uh, past and the present and the future so these are the animals we are having this one is Chenjambure map okay okay so this is it this is the beauty of the Gambia here you can see the clear picture of the animals here so we have different type of animals here so this one is the history of life here with the animals uh this i guess these are the animals inside the water this is life history uh, life history yeah. okay this is the history of life you have all these different animals okay life. yeah okay okay they yeah existing okay in yeah history some are existing but still now some are still existing exactly yeah, yeah. So this is it. It's yeah, a lizard yeah. buzzard, a bird. Uh, this one. Yeah, it's so a lizard buzzard. Lizard it's a type lizard. of bird yeah. that hunts lizards. So this is it. This is the beauty you are seeing. I told you, you can learn many things for yourself. These are the mangrove swamps. Uh, they are planting. You can see people planting mangroves. So this is the mangrove uh, woods that people have already caught and they can build it with different things some use it local beds local seeds are used with this mangrove stem so this one also is another type of animal which is also found here in Gambia yeah so follow the tour and we will see what is ahead of us